Hi everyone, in this part of the video lecture series of our Clear Lake Water Shader project, we will try to create the form of the lake water. We will try to make the lake water form in the contact area, as you see when it comes into contact with solid objects. As you can see, as you can see, when I put this rock in contact with water, form is created automatically. Yes. In this way, we will create an effect that is realistic and high visual quality. If you are ready, let's start. Immediately, let's go, let's go back to wave shader again. And in our previous lesson, we copy the following part from the refraction and coloring effect of lake water. We can copy this I can close uh, I copy this notes control C control V yes okay and okay and delete one and open this and vector one name is just we can call it form. Yeah, maybe default value one and drag to scene and link the the white and we can add multiply node and link this one and add vector one also again form control two we can uh, I want change this vector one name one form control one yes form control 2 yes and drop to scene and link to multiply node yes it's good ok I can copy this one again. Control C, Control V. Yes. Just a bit. Yes. And delete these vectors. Controls. Yes. And add vector one from velocity from velocity maybe to default value and link here and link offset and track form velocity and click multiply node and again create vector one form size maybe at first one for now I can change after and link Tiling and add gradient noise 
yes one link this one we can align link sorry link this one and link multiply yes I can add step note and link this one and link this one I can add color note and name is color of form and default color absolutely white and I can direct to scene and add split I need alpha channel link and multiply add multiply and link alpha channel and step sorry link alpha to multiply and step sorry yes and let's continue it's good I can add lot not and add multiply the bottom channel and drag to color form and link this one and I can this control yes split and lerp nice and we can go color split again split and this one and add lerp again alpha channels alpha channel color and scene color where is I can delete these links and this link link this one and link delete this one and link this one yes and scene color okay no problem I think not necessary for this group yes save and scene yes as you see uh, we can control yes form size it's good and form velocity not 
too much enough you know form control 1 form control 2 yes it's good absolutely this one good we can control with game mode yes but speed is too much still uh, velocity 2 just 2 yes Yes, as you see, perfect result. Yes, form and refraction and realism water lake shade. It's good, we can control form. And let's go back to wave shader again and we have to organize these complicated nodes. For example, this one. Right click, group, and name is Wave. Refraction, yes. This one, or right click, group selection, watercolor, yes. And finally, And finally, this one maybe except group. This one, right click, group, form. Yes. And we can control again close blackboard as you see wave yes and refraction as you see and watercolor yes and form water lake water form Yes, as you see, yes, 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 and yes, yes, enough, save as it. Yes, as you can see, form is created automatically when any solid object comes into contact with water. As you see, our project has done and per, uh, result is perfect. You know, yes, we can control refraction, we can control wave, and we can control form. And you can use in your Unity projects. See you in another project.